Hyperemesis gravidarum is a condition most prevalent in the first trimester um, in which a mom experiences an excessive amount of nausea and vomiting that can prevent her from tolerating her meals uh, for more than a 48 hour period of time. Uh, that is differentiated from morning sickness, which is basically a low level queasiness that a lot of women experience in the first trimester as a result of the normal hormones in pregnancy that can slow down digestion and, and cause bloating and in some cases constipation. Uh, in the case of HG, uh, the condition is so severe that, again, um, she's not able to tolerate meals for more than 48 hours at a time. Uh, dehydration can occur. Um, and in more extreme cases, weight loss totaling anywhere from 5 close to 10% close to of her body weight. As far as risk factors are concerned, oftentimes HG can affect a first time pregnancy, uh, multifetal pregnancies, pregnancies of twins and on up can predispose to HG simply because of the increased hormone uh, level of, of pregnancy in the first trimester. Uh, also another consideration is thyroid condition, uh, more, more commonly hyperthyroid, as being a cause for hyperemesis. And a simple blood test will simply screen against that condition. HG is not a particularly common condition. Probably on the order of 5% of women uh, will be categorized as having HG as opposed to mild morning sickness. HG is not necessarily a sign that mom or baby is in trouble. Um, oftentimes, again, the normal surge of HG, of uh, HCG in the first trimester can be the cause for hyperemesis gravidarum. And once the second trimester has started, as the placenta has formed, the HCG hormone has plateaued. Uh, most women do start to feel better. Uh, really the consideration is more on the mom's health. If weight loss, say more than 5% of weight loss does occur, or if severe dehydration does occur to the point of sodium imbalance or electrolyte imbalance. In addition to supportive care, such as hydration, IV hydration, there are anti-nausea medications that are safe to give in pregnancy. Uh, Zofran, for example, uh, which is a dissolvable tablet, is perfectly safe in pregnancy and can be prescribed by the ob uh, There is also an IV form of the medication in severe cases. There is speculation whether she's carrying more than one. Uh, is one consideration. Boy or girl, I'd probably have to go with the old wives' tale since she looks so great, she's probably carrying a boy since the girls tend to take the beauty away from the mom.